Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In today's video, we have one very exciting radical equation challenge. x is equal to cube root 1 minus 2x minus 9x square over x square minus 2x minus 9. And we have to find out all real solutions. So let's get started by considering denominator cannot be 0. So I can write x square minus 2x minus 9 can't be 0. So I can apply quadratic formula. X cannot be minus B. So minus of minus 2 plus 2 plus minus the square root 4 plus 36. So 40 divided by 2. So X cannot be 1 plus minus root 10. This is our restricted list. Now I can consider cubing both sides. So x cube equal to 1 minus 2x minus 9x square divided by x square minus 2x minus 9. Now cross multiply x cube times x square minus 2x minus 9 equal to 1 minus 2x minus 9x square. Let's expand and take all the term to one side. x power 5 minus 2x power 4 minus 9x cube plus 9x square plus 2x minus 1 equal to 0. Now I can see if I will apply x is equal to 1. See what will come out 1 minus 2 minus 9 plus 9 plus 2 minus 1. So it is coming out 0. That means x is equal to 1 is our base solution. First real solution. Let us write all the coefficients of this quintic equation using synthetic division method. So I will be writing our base solution first. x is equal to 1. Now coefficient of quintic equation. Coefficient of x power 5 was 1, minus 2, minus 9, 9, 2, negative 1. Leading coefficient as it is 1. Now let's multiply with this base solution. 1 times 1 is 1. I will write here minus 1. 1 times minus 1 is minus 1. This will be minus 10. 1 times minus 10 is minus 10. Addition will be negative 1. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Addition will be 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Addition will be 0. So these are our coefficients for quartic equation. Let's write x power 4 minus x cube minus 10x square minus x plus 1 equal to 0. Now if I will plug in x is equal to 0, it won't satisfy this equation. So I can write here x cannot be 0. Now I can divide both sides by x square. This side also x square. Let's divide x square minus x minus 10 minus 1 over x plus 1 over x square and RHS is 0. Now first and last term all together and I will consider second and second last term all together in one bracket. So I can write x square plus 1 over x square minus is common. So x plus 1 over x minus 10 equal to 0. Now it's substitution time. Let us consider this bracket equal to u. So x plus 1 over x equal to u. Squaring both sides, we can write x square plus 1 over x square plus 2 equal to u square or x square plus 1 over x square. This value will be u square minus 2. So here I will be writing u square minus 2. This is our substitution u. So I can write one equation 
in variable u. Let's write. So I will write u square minus 2 minus u minus 10 equal to 0 or u square minus u minus 12 equal to 0. Remember u is x plus 1 over x. Let's solve this quadratic first. u square minus u minus 12 equal to 0. Let's apply quadratic formula. u is equal to minus b. So minus of minus 1, 1. Plus minus under the root b square minus 4ac. So plus 48 divided by 2a. Now I can write 1 plus minus square root 49 divided by 2. Square root 49 is 7 over 2. 1 plus 7 over 2 and 1 minus 7 over 2. So I can write 8 over 2. Here I can write minus 6 over 2. So the ultimate values of u will be 4 and negative 3. And u was our substitution. Let's write u equal to x plus 1 over x equal to 4 and negative 3. Let's write separately x plus 1 over x equal to 4. First equation and second equation equal to negative 3. Now x cannot be 0 so I can multiply both sides by x. So x square plus 1 equal to 4x. Take all the term to one side minus 4x plus 1 equal to 0. Now let's apply quadratic formula once again x equal to minus b so 4 plus minus the square root of b square 16 minus 4ac minus 4 divided by 2a so 2 so 4 plus minus this will be square root 12 over 2 12 we can write 4 times 3 so it will be 2 root 3 4 plus minus 2 root 3 by 2 so we can write our solution 2 plus minus root 3. x is equal to 1 is our first real solution that was base solution. Now let's solve this x plus 1 over x equal to minus 3 equation. x plus 1 over x equal to negative 3. x cannot be 0. Multiply both sides by x x square plus 1 equal to negative 3x, x square plus 3x plus 1 equal to 0. Let's apply quadratic formula. x is equal to minus b, so minus 3 plus minus square root b square 9 minus 4 divided by 2a, 2, minus 3 plus minus root 5 divided by so here we have two more real solutions let me write all the solutions x is equal to 1 the very first base solution then 2 plus minus root 3 and here we have calculated minus 3 plus minus root 5 over 2 and none is 1 plus minus root 10 so, overall, five solutions are here. I hope, friends, you will like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.